Yo, what is up everyone? Here we are with another take on the Volkos challenge sponsored by Doom Girl. So we're going to be starting with Watashang's deck since he's the last person I played. Um, the Volkos challenge, for those who don't know, is you play the deck that your, your opponent just played. So I'm going to start with this deck and then we'll play whatever our first opponent plays and we'll keep doing that until we finish the whole run. I'm not sure what opening unit I'm going to go with. Maybe Buggy? I'm against Nod actually, I could go Laser Drones. Although I don't have Venom, so maybe that's a mistake. I do have Militants. Yeah, Laser Drones are probably a fine opener. Oh, he's gone buggy. Okay. Oh, he's open War Factor. We can probably just spam laser drones. If you won the laser drones, will win easily. All right, cool. We should get the harvester pretty easily here. Oh, he's gone air tower, so he's probably gonna make a phantom. Oh, I don't have bikes. Whoops. Oh, I thought I had bikes in my deck. Well, my anti is only phantom, really. Phantom and buggy. That is not great. Get some marauders for this buggy, I guess. And see what he goes into. Looks like he's gonna just go straight into tech now. Hope he hasn't got flame tank. Flame tank would be awkward. Confessor, interesting. I have chemical buggy, so confessor's not a big deal. But I need to lose a squad of laser drones so I can build it. We also have uh, Jade, so we could just go for his base. I'm gonna send these laser drones to start harassing his base. And we'll uh, Catalyst missile this and hopefully get the Basilisk and the bikes. Alright, nice. We, did, we didn't get the bikes. I thought we were definitely gonna get the bikes there. Well, that's a lot of tech units. Alright, so we're gonna need a lot of chuggies. We're gonna need rifles as well. And killing a confessor takes a long time, even with a chem buggy. Oops, I should not have let him on that pad, that was a pretty big misplay. Okay, there we got two, two rifles against his, uh, oh wow, the confessor and the basilisk. A banshee killed my, killed my chemical buggy, I wasn't expecting that. It looks like we got him locked off though, so it should be fine. Yeah, cool. Looks like we're going to play a really bad deck next game as well. All right, this deck is pretty awkward. We've got triple tech, we've got buggy bike, banshee, triple tech. So yeah, this deck is um, deck's extremely poor. I think once we get to tech, we we don't. I mean, like we're still still gonna lose to like avatar plus hammerhead. So, oh, sorry, mammoth plus hammerhead. Uh, so we need to make anti air, but our best anti air is banshee. So we actually are terrible against laser drones, which we found out last game because I just used laser drones to beat the guy. Um, but yeah, I guess we just save up for a Banshee or something. I wonder how, like, how does the first, how does the guy who built this deck come to this deck? Like, how does he come to this conclusion? And when he loses to laser drones, is he not a little concerned about it? Anyway, I'm going to try and take out these laser drones. I'm pop capping them a little bit just to buy myself some time, but he's definitely gone double harvester after getting the two harvester kills. Alright, well, temple's open. See what his tech unit is. Widow maker. Uh, okay, well, we can make basilisk for that, I guess. Boosted it for some reason. Also, Kane with a deck this expensive. Like, come on, man, what are you doing? Alright, we're gonna make it down. Four laser drones. My only anti air really is these. Uh, well, I guess I've got cyborgs. I can combo cyborgs and basilisks. 
Don't need to rebuild my harvester again. Enemy cyborgs. We have to run away from that. Maybe save up for a uh, for a cane to kill the cyborgs. I'm gonna block with my banshee. Oh no, I fucked it. All right, I'm gonna put down the obelisk. Cool. I'm confessing as well. He's walked a lot of cyborgs into this obelisk now. Come on, obelisk, please kill his Widowmaker. Nope, didn't fire in time. Sad. I'm gonna have to walk this uh, this basilisk onto the pad. It's obviously stupid against the Widowmaker, but I need to contest the pad. I have nothing else that can do it. All right, nice. Looks like we're gonna just about take first missile. And this deck is this deck is truly horrible. It looks like because the deck we're gonna play next is might be even worse. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess we can put another obelisk down. Alright, Kane OP. I guess this is why you play Kane, guys. <laughs> Because we definitely couldn't have killed these cyborgs with basilisks. Well then. Interesting game. Okay, this deck is, I think is actually worse than the last one because the tech units are really bad now. Like we've got Widowmaker and Centurion, both of which are... Centurion's an okay splash unit as a tech unit because it can replace a tank because it's reasonably cheap. But it's not good against other tech, really. Not really. Um, so yeah, this deck might be even worse than the previous one. But we do have Flamers and Lasers. So we do have a stronger early game than the previous deck. Definitely want to be stalling. And going double harvester. M warriors. And he's playing Jade. Uh oh, this is really bad. But definitely just uh he could blow up our base. Alright, so we're gonna make flamers. Flamers will wow, the chem's going for my base now? That's very early to be going for the base. Chems will actually lose to flames on cost efficiency. So we can just spam flamers to beat chems. So I'm strongly considering going laser drones. He hasn't got any anti-air yet. Yeah, we're gonna go laser drones with our flamers. There's some lasers. Get on these pads. The flamers up top. Claim this down bottom as well. If we can win this missile, that'd be insane. I'm actually just gonna let that missile hit because it's gonna kill his stuff as well, and we can send laser drones in to get there quickly. Like his quick response is uh, wheels, ours is laser drones, so we'll win that fight. Alright, nice, we're gonna take the missile. Oh, whoops, messed that up. Okay, fine, we still take the missile. And he just concedes. Alright, well, never mind then. <laughs> Don't need to use our tech. Let's win with the laser and flames and laser drones. All right, so this deck's actually pretty good. Um, it's a pretty standard, fairly standard uh, Jade Jade Chem deck, like an old school one. It's weird that we've got Stealth Tank and Bikes and no Scorpion and Laser Drones, but the Laser Drones kind of replace the Scorpion. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's an alright deck actually. Surprisingly good one. Okay, opponent's gone blind. Double half. We're just gonna fire the first missile really quickly and then go for a Catalyst missile on his base. Open the air tower, that's pretty bad for me. Means he's probably gonna make laser drones and venoms. He has gone venom first. Interesting. I wish I hadn't made these laser. I assumed he was gonna go laser drones start because they have better vision, but he didn't. 
All right, so we'll get bikes up top. So we're going to take this first missile very easily. That's nice. With the bike volley, the lasers will kill the venom very easily. Okay, so now we just want to make some chems and try and go for his base with them. Looks like he's going to try and get to my harvester. Yeah, there's a nice boost of it. If we won't pop cap, we'd be able to just throw chems at his base already. Alright, let's get these chems to his base. Well, I shouldn't have built a stealth tank because now I can't afford the uh, catalyst missile. That was a pretty big misplay. All right, we're good. We're good. We still get it. We're gonna we're gonna lose out on the chem damage though, like the chem warrior itself. We do actually lose quite a lot of damage. So yeah, building that stealth tank was a big misplay. But unfortunately for my opponent, it doesn't matter because he has nothing. All right, cool. Okay, so this deck is really bad. It's got scarabs. I, just, it ha I have to go double harvester. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know how I'm supposed to play this deck. Like, I have to open lasers, but then I have only lasers and scarabs. I have to double harvester, but it's gonna. Um, but I can't open Double Harvester because my deck is terrible in the early game. So yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know how you're supposed to play this deck, really. Alright, let's get the Double Harvester now. We've got a Scarab on this pad, which is fine, I guess. I don't really know if I even want to be charging the pads, though. What's my tech? Basilisk Cyborg? I mean, that doesn't... It doesn't have any... Like, Venom is the only anti-air in this deck as well. Oh, yeah, this is... Oh, sorry, any anti-infantry I meant. Yeah, this deck's pretty horrible. Um, I don't fit... I, I don't, honestly don't know if I should be charging these pads. But it's getting it's getting pretty close to firing the missile now, so I guess we're trying to win the missile on the double harvester. Banshee, it's fine. I've got these lasers to protect my Venom. Okay, cool. So we are going to take the first missile, which is nice. And I guess we'll just go Basilisk. I see Fnatic's in my opponent's deck, which is very exciting for me, because it means my next game should be easy. So I'll get to play Fnatic's. I need some cyborgs here to protect my banshee. Oh my god, that banshee went down real quick. Wow, that that fanatic boost is so insane, man. Fanatics are such an such an obnoxious unit. For shade, I don't really care about that at all. All right, looks like we're gonna win pretty easily. Ooh. All right, so I think this deck is actually pretty good. We've got Fnatic, Scabs, Scabs, uh, Triple Air. Ooh, ooh, what the hell is this Triple Air? Why does he have Laser Drones, Banshees, and Shades? They all do the same thing. All right, this deck is terrible. I take back what I previously said. He's got three air units that all just shoot ground vehicles. Like, Banshee can also shoot air, but he's basically just got three air units that shoot ground vehicles. How, is he, how did he come up with it? Like, why would you ever put Shade, Banshee, and Laser Drone in the same deck? That's crazy. I'm surprised, like, it's like putting Scavenger Laser in your deck, like... Oh, anyway, rant over. Oh, give me that sweet tip. Uh-oh, run away. Alright, stop spamming Laser Drones. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I just don't... Like, I'm building a shade, but I kind of feel like I should just be building more laser drones. Like, against bikes, the laser drones are probably just better. They're more efficient. Gonna EMP? EMP the bikes! Little... Nice. Yeah, Adam. Oh, Confessor? How the hell do I kill a Confessor? The only anti-infantry unit in this deck is Fanatics. I think I'm dead. I actually think I, this deck is incapable of beating a Confessor. Wow, that's super awkward. I guess we're gonna have to send in like triple Fanatic all at once. Get him, Fanatics! <laughs> Fanatics. What a balanced unit. <laughs> oh man. I wonder how many how many fanatics do you actually need to kill to kill confessors. Wow. It looks like three just shreds them. Oh my god man, fanatics are so dumb. <laughs> Alright, got them boys. <laughs> All right, this deck is um, awkward, shall we say. I've got triple tech and bike chuggy, basically. So I have to use bike chuggy to fight everything uh, until I get my triple tech out. All right, so our opponent's gone lasers. Uh, we're going to try and stall. Double laser. So we're going to have to go chemical buggy or double harvester now. This is what a huge issue with a deck like this. If I want to compete on the board at all, I have to make a chemical buggy, but that massively delays my second harvester. And this deck has triple tech, so it needs it needs two harvesters. And he has laser drones as well. Okay, well, I can't even fight that with bikes, really, so I guess we're going double half. Trying to stall here, even if it costs me some resources. Yeah, I can't. I can't I actually can't fight laser drones with any of my units outside of my tech lab. Like I actually need my Temple of Nod to fight laser drones. It's crazy to me that people build decks that just can't fight laser drones. Like laser drones are so popular. They're like they're such an incredibly popular unit, and they're so good in Nod versus Nod. But to just build a Nod deck that cannot beat laser drones, that's just insane. Okay, well, I guess we're going Confessor first, because that beats the laser drones and the lasers. Let's wait and see what his answer to Confessor is. If he's got something like Flame Tank, we're super dead. Okay, that one is not so bad. So we do need to keep the Confessors away from it. Okay, I think we might be alright now. Phantom? Sure. I can't kill my laser drones and my basilisk in time. That's not, not a problem. And we'll get cyborgs as well now. Okay, I think we've stabilized now. Once we've stabilized, we're, we're pretty much guaranteed to win, I'd say. Well, not guaranteed, but like our chance of winning goes up astronomically once we stabilize. Because now we just make a million tech units. I'm actually going to pull this Harvester as well. So far ahead right now. Yep. And the Wall of Tech Units is in place, and we can't really lose anymore. Rival. Okay, so this deck has rifles and lasers, so I already like it. Can't go too wrong with rifle and laser. Uh, our tech is Widowmaker, unfortunately. Basilisk is really good, but Widowmaker is absolute garbage. But we have Basilisk plus Phantom, which is able to deal with most things in the game. So yeah, this deck um, 
I mean, obviously it's not good. I'm not saying it's good, but it's not like completely heinous. Like I can, I can definitely make it work. I want to go double harvester, but I think I'll do it second missile. Um, because I have the lasers and the missiles, I think I can just win first missile and phantom. Like those units let me, those units make me confident that I can just win the first missile on one harvester and then go double. Alan is a little bit of an issue. Uh, we definitely need to micro our phantom. Beat that. I don't know if this one's going to get there in time, it looks like. Not quite. Okay, cool. That would have been a slight, would have been a little bit awkward if it had made it in time. Alright, so now we're looking to go double harvester. So now we just want to get to our tech, although really it's just Basilisk we want to get to because Widowmaker is... Uh, I'm only going to make a Widowmaker in very specific scenarios. I'm going to definitely be trying to avoid making Widowmakers because they are very bad. Basilisk, on the other hand, is a great unit, so I definitely want to be making Basilisks. Well, not great, but, you know, like, as tech units go, it's definitely one of the ones that can just shut down a game on its own. Phantom is about to get its fourth Talon, which is the number of Talons you need to kill to actually have made money on a Phantom. Alright, we've got our Basilisk now. Oop. Okay. Right, he didn't retarget. He did retarget. Nightmare. Ah, uh, too late. We win anyway. So actually, he's made zone troopers. I would not have made Widowmaker for those zone troopers. I would have just made another Basilisk. Boosted Basilisk beats zone troopers. So I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even have made a Widowmaker for that. I would just made Basilisk. Okay. So we've got a mammoth zone deck now. Um, the deck is okay. Um, it's pretty good. Like, the biggest issue I'd say is the Talon. The Talon should just be, like, Drone Swarm to give you better early game. But other than that, it's a pretty good deck. Uh, it's very close to what GG, GG plays. The only, the only difference is the is Drone Swarm versus Talon. Oh, and Solomon. For some reason, we're playing Solomon. I forgot to mention that. The Solomon is horrendous. I have no idea why we're playing Solomon in this deck. The deck would be, like, a million times better with Liang or Jackson. Um, it just randomly has this Solomon that we're not going to be able to afford because we're going to be making mana tanks and zone troopers. But yeah, apart from that, the deck is, is decent. This guy also appears to have some understanding of the game, which is going to make it very difficult for us to win because we're playing a tech deck. Uh, he's immediately started charging the pads and he's actually using like dogs, which are a good unit that most people don't play. Most people just play terrible units. He's like actually firing the missile. So yeah, this is this could be a tough one. Definitely gonna leave these dogs alive. Yeah, look, he's even moved off the pads to charge. Um, so yeah, this guy actually knows what he's doing. Definitely want to keep the pads stalled here. So we can get zones. Although he has shock, so maybe I should just be going straight mammoth tank first. I'm not sure. I think, I'm gonna, I think I should get zones. I need to get something on the field. But with Talon instead of Drone Swarm, it's actually kind of hard to kill these shock troopers quickly. All right, we'll use the zones to block these shocks to get the missile. Once we win the missile, it's very hard for us to lose. We can just make mammoth tanks. All right, sweet. We do lose quite a lot of value there, but we should be okay because we're just going to go with mammoth tank now. Did actually end up using the iron cannon there to kill a single shock trooper. Not that hyped about it. Would have preferred to just be able to make a Jackson mammoth, but whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. Now I don't know how he's planning to kill a mammoth tank. Predators? Or reasonable plan, I suppose. You can see he's even trying to micro his units through the jump jets to keep them alive. So yeah, this guy definitely is uh, not bad at the game. Not bad. Obviously, once tech is out, you're dead. So it doesn't matter if you're good or not. But yeah. 
decent decent player there for sure. You are victorious. All right, last game. Our deck is uh, our deck is pretty good, I think. We've got the we've got dog pitbull. Yeah, I mean this is a solid deck. Biggest issue with this deck is probably definitely very weak to um, MLRS and Giga Cannon. It's also a little weak to tech. Uh, like I don't think I could ever be a Titan or a Rockworm or a Mammoth Tank. Which, as we saw in the last game, that uh, the guy who played it first could not beat a Mammoth Tank. Which is fair enough, Mammoth Tank is pretty hard to beat. Mammoth Tank kind of just tends to dump on GDI. Like, insanely hard. But, you know, we've got a solid early game deck, so... Be fine. We'll just, we'll just fire the missiles as quickly as possible against this guy doing double half. It is, uh, it is very difficult to stop people getting tech out, though, so I don't know if we're gonna... Like, we're not realistically gonna stop him getting his tech units out. I don't want to go Talon here, but I, actually, I made this I made this Predator a little too early. That's a big mistake. I'm going to let him shoot the Predator so that I can use the Pitbull to kill the Orca. Alright, there we go. That's what I wanted. He shoots the dogs as well. It seems like an error. We should probably go Talon here. But we need, the, we need like 80 to make a Talon. All right, let's get talent. He spent so much on orcas, he probably is not going to be able to get to his tech in time now. Yeah, I mean the game's about to end. He, he spent he just spent way too much on orcas if he was going to try and get tech out. All right, cool, very easy. Objective complete. All right. 10-0 with the Axon challenge. Pretty unusual to actually make 10-0 with this challenge because of how bad some of the decks are that we get. But yeah, managed to manage to pull it out. I got a, got a nice deck with that chem deck right in the middle there. Normally it gets hard around that stage when you start playing competent opponents but uh, have a terrible deck. Yeah, we got a little lucky to run into that chem deck. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time. Okay, what did Axon challenge?